Hey guys, this is Giovanni, what is up? So, what do you do when a girl's having a work or life crisis? Today I got a text from a client. Now in this particular exchange of texts, he's already gone on a date with her, they've already hooked up, and he's trying to see her again. So let's break it down. She's talking about trouble at work. If I took you to a cocktail bar, would you be okay in a crowded bar? Instead of replying to his invitation, what she said was basically, hey, sorry we're going through a lot, you know, my computer stopped working for school. It's overall been a bad week, okay? But trust me, you'll be fine. I know exactly how to handle a bad week because I have those two. There are a couple of things going on here and I'll address them from the top down. In other words, from the beginning of the interaction to the time she falls in love with you and becomes your girlfriend. First of all, whenever you hook up with a girl, if you see potential in her, always text her, always follow up, and make her feel good about her decision to be intimate with you. And if you do that, assuming you're not just terrible in bed, you should be able to see her again, okay? Now, his texts actually aren't bad. He's trying to get her out, and basically what she's saying is, I'm not even in the mind frame of going out again because there's so many things going on at work. And he's relating to her a little bit. He's saying, I know what it feels like to go through a bad week. When someone is going through a crisis, there's sort of like three things that they need the most. And sometimes they get this from their friends, but sometimes you might be able to provide it. The first thing people need going through a crisis is really someone to talk to that can really listen to them and ideally know them really well to understand how they're interpreting that crisis. This is what we call the emotional support pillar when things go wrong. Ideally, you have a close friend who is that pillar for you. The second type of thing we need is someone who is very, very practical and knows exactly how to solve the situation. For example, let's say you are uh, lend a lot of money on a mortgage and now you're under the water. You're looking for someone who specifically has knowledge in that area that can help you, hey, move this amount of money here, sign this clause in the contract. They know exactly what to do to get out of that situation. In that case, we're looking for expertise support, someone who understands that area very, very well. Third type of support is what we call becoming good friends support. And so a really good line I use is, I'm here if you need me, and not if you don't. So sometimes she might be going through something that I personally know a lot about, in which case I'll say, you know, I actually know a lot about this. I've been through something similar when I worked at Google. I'm here if you wanna talk more about it and not if you don't, okay? And when you say that, you're basically saying, I'm here to support you should you choose to use me as a support pillar, but I'm also like, okay, just letting you deal with it if that's what you need to focus on. And that is very attractive because as a guy she's dating, he's basically saying, I'm here for you, but if it's easier for you, if I'm not here, then imagine I'm not here. And when you're ready, I will re-engage with you. And that's the most attractive thing that you can do, okay? The thing you don't wanna do is be the yes guy. Yeah, I totally relate, and yeah, I hope everything goes well. Because that vagueness is the worst thing you can say to someone going through a crisis, right? They either need emotional help, ideally from someone who knows their strengths and weaknesses emotionally, expertise help, someone that can specifically guide them step by step out of it, or a really cool guy who's just there and understands that she needs her space, okay? So those are the three types of responses that you wanna think about when you're responding to a girl who is going through a crisis at work or at school, etc. You do not, I repeat, you do not wanna be the guy who's like, oh, I'll buy you a new laptop. You don't wanna fall into that sugar daddy frame. With someone you just went on a first date with, you're not there yet. Do not offer more support than the trust can provide because then she'll just think you're either needy or you're trying to get some more from her, okay? And neither of those two things are attractive. Am I making sense?